All right, so my friend Penn here has been struggling with uh, drop arches and lower back issues. And so we're just gonna sit here and activate the arches and I refer to it as a static activation. So I'm gonna do my best with this camera. Um, right now I get him with the eight points of attention on his back connected, so he's structurally aligned in the back. And now we come up here to the feet, okay, and the legs. And he's got his legs up the wall here, all right? And so what I want him to do is he's gonna push his heels into the, the wall, right? So the back line of his body activates and then bend the knees gently so that it's a little bit too much even. Good, just, yeah, yeah, just stack the bones. Find the back kneecap arches. And did you notice how your lower back got longer and your sits bones drew towards the, the wall further? No. You didn't notice that? Okay. No. When you first really? did it, when you first did it a minute ago, it did. Huh. Um, yeah, your sits bones, your whole pelvic floor dropped closer to the wall. Uh, he's been sitting like this for a couple of minutes previously, but we decided we should film it. So he's gonna sit here and breathe. <laughs> He's gonna I'm sit like, here. Like he's been struggling with, and then you name like two things, and I'm like in my head, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Exactly. <laughs> there's 25 things. Um, so right it's now, like all he's suit. doing is drawing his toes towards his knees, pushing his heels into the wall. This is engaging his whole back line. Now, naturally, people are going to want to flatten their knee joints in order to push their heels into the wall. But as I stated, he needs to engage the backs of his kneecaps because that is a diaphragmatic shape. Our body is full of diaphragmatic shapes that are meant to build off each other. And when we flatten any of them, we have flattened all of them on some level. We've compromised the diaphragmatic shape. They are the primary building blocks of the body. So a few things we've been working on. We're gonna lift his booty, all right? We're working on lifting Let his- Let me see that booty there. <laughs> so, You're gonna want to clip that and send it to me. Yeah, exa so yeah, we're definitely gonna clip so that. Email it to everybody. Exactly. <laughs> how's your how's your self healing process going, Pat? Let me see, see your booty, booty lift. <laughs> That's how the self healing should be, actually. What so. I'm saying, booty lift and self healing. Dude, booty lift is it's all about the self healing. Trademark. You know, and the other is the hamstrings, right? Hamstrings deal with self-trust. My hamstrings are awful. Well, it's dealing with self-trust. So those that have no booty don't trust in their own response to gravity. Don't trust in their own responses that they can stand up properly, right? That they can hold their own. So what happens is we flatten them out. We don't even notice we're doing it, but in an energetic vibe, that's what's being supported. That's why I have such a flat ass. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Right. So the flat arches that you have, and we've done a video already on those arches, so on how to correct those, but we'll do more. Um, he has extremely flat arches, which have collapsed his whole back line of his body, and he has a you know, dropped booty. So we're gonna work on lifting that thing up, and uh, we're gonna give him more of a gadunk a dunk and uh, find those archways of the back. For the chicks. For the chicks, it's all about the chicks. We know this. <laughs> This is common knowledge. Repeat after me. It's all for the chicks. <laughs> as long as we know, man. As long as we know. So, keep breathing into that. More breath. Because right now, your leg's on fire a little bit. The harder that you activate that back line, it's, until you said that. it's bringing more heat to the body. So, I love to remind people, static activation brings in more fire. The fire will change your connective tissue. Okay, internal fire holding the static activation. Your connective tissue will naturally want to go back to its home. Everything in the body wants to go back to homeostasis as long as we release the pressure from it. And so what we're doing is activating those archways, bringing the fire into the body. Yeah, I can see it in your shins finally starting to take place. I don't know if you can see it through the video, but energetically I can see the shins of his body starting to activate more the right side than the left side and so yeah. all right you can feel that right side is more activated than the left side yeah yeah i can see the vibration shift so keep trying to work on that left side to balance it's, it's it out get, it's getting there. it is it is but there's a there's like a dead zone in that shin and um and so keep breathing it keep breathing it 
air moves fire, right? So the more you breathe, the more that fire will be dispersed, the faster the connective tissue will change. The faster the connective tissue will change. Take a few more breaths here. Good. Give me 10 more breaths, make them count. Really start to fire up those toes, spread the toes, pull that, the, the back line in, right? Really push those heels and activate through that whole back line. Good, now you can feel that left leg, right? There's a difference in that whole left hip socket just rotated back in too. Good, breathe it, breathe it. Feel free to tone here. Making sounds is good. On the exhalation, make a sound. <sighs> good. Even like a sing song, any bobble you can choose. <sighs> Last three breaths, make them count. Get it into that thigh, that left thigh. Yes, now we're shaking. Now the muscles are getting activated. Now the change is happening. The shake is beautiful. We want the shake. That means we're in it and change is happening. Good. You feel free to release that. Good. Yeah, simply notice what you notice. Notice what you notice. It may create a cramping in the body when it happens. Cramping in this moment is good. The cramping is often the connective tissue dragging across the muscles. I encourage cramping to take place when in structural, stat like in the stagnation moments when we do that, the static activation. We want cramping to take place and you wanna breathe into it even more. Good, all right, so we're gonna work. Yep, we're gonna work, I want tabletop. So try to get your ankles in alignment with your knees here. Good, so next we're gonna work on, he was talking about the SI joint in the lower back. There's a bundle of nerves there and dense connective tissue and ligaments that get bound up on people. And so having flat feet, you can easily compromise the whole lower back, right? So now, I've already got him engaged on the eight points of attention on his back body. So just check in with those shoulders, right? Shoulder blades slide down the back, lower ribs on the earth, lower hips on the earth and the back of the skull there were beautiful. Now, there are four points of contact on your feet. So feel free to lift your toes, but get your big toe mound on, yep. The toes and the mounds are two different things. So the mound is the padded part, right? So push that big toe mound into the wall, lift those toes, and connect that big toe mound to your outside heel point. So get your outside heel point on the wall. Yeah, we're creating tense. So yep, get that heel on the wall. Oh. Yep. So big toe mound connects to outside heel point. Yes, beautiful. Good shift in the arches. Pinky toe mound connects to inside heel point. Your toes may grip the wall during this process to activate properly. Good, breathe, breathe. You can literally see on the video that his arches are starting to lift here. Good, I want you to pull the energy up through the arches of your feet here as hard as you can through those four points of contact while engaging behind your knee joints as you did previously. We've already activated that back line. See if you can feel behind your knee joints activate like little suction cups. Mm -hmm. Good, now your pelvis just got longer. Your sits bones are more connected to the earth right now. Good, breathe, 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 breathe. And I want you to sit in this for as long as we can. Just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. It's so funny because like there's that voice that's like stop it stop it stop it stop it yes and so right at that moment this is where i ask people i said on a scale of one to ten ten being the worst physical pain you've ever experienced give this a number pen 
It's not pain. It's just discomfort. Good. Beautiful. So what number pause. discomfort is it? Three, like a three or four. A three or four, right? Maybe. You know what I'll tell people at this moment in time? What you're dealing with is your emotional pain. That's why the brain is telling you to stop it. Add more breath. Right? So when you're in a place of discomfort, under a seven, majority of the time, it is your emotional body that has gotten activated because your connective tissue is your emotional body. It holds the code of your emotions. And so when we start to change that code within the body, the brain takes over the ego. The ego knows it's dying in this moment. That's what's happening. You're going through an ego death because your connective tissue is changing. So when I explained the body code method is literally a mind, body, soul shift. It's not just a structural shift. It is everything simultaneously taking place. Any karmic energy stored in your cellular fascia at this moment in time is moving through and being integrated in present moment. That's why toning is so good. Feel free to grunt and growl and tone at any moment in time. Keep pulling up through those arches. Activate the back of the knees. Get a little harder into it. Give me the next 10 breaths as hard as you can. Pull in, pull in, pull in. Yes, try not to let those lower ribs lift. You got it though. It's okay if it shifts for a hot minute and then get back to it. Just notice the structural lines. In fact, what we're targeting right now will eventually bring those shoulder blades even further down your back. You got this. Breathe it out. Ooh. I hear a growl wanting to come out of your body so bad right now. Let the fire burn. Meet the fire with fire. That's it. A little harder, a little pull, a little pull. Just activate, pull, activate, pull, and breathe. Activate, pull, and breathe. That's it. That's it. You're almost out. You're almost done. Last few breaths. You got this. Last three. Beautiful. On your next exhalation, you can surrender everything. You may or may not have noticed that lower SI joint. Could you feel the connective tissue start to shift or nerve endings start to realign through there? I don't know, I was really focused on the feet. Good, good. You yeah, may or like may hyper focused on the feet. Good. You may or may not. Um, what can happen in those moments is you can start to feel the nerve bundles start to reline themselves underneath the connective tissue in those moments. Hmm. Yeah, you'll feel the whole SI joint area, the whole sacral area, shift in present moment and realign itself. Good. So just for the audience, when you're ready, put your feet against the wall again. And I want to just notice your new natural, your new natural place, you actually have a lift in your arches. There is actually an organic lift taking place in the arches of your feet right now. I can feel it. Good. I love that. Yep. Well, that's what I really like about the eight points of contact is that when I'm laying there, I'll notice myself doing this or like doing this. Yeah. You know, and now that I like have those in mind, I can think and be like, okay, like what isn't touching right now, you know? Yeah. And as soon as it's kind of funny, even after a couple of days, I'm just like, as soon as it's not touching, I'm like, something's not touching. You know. Yeah. And you almost don't want to like, do... Like, where am I compensating, you know? Exactly. And you almost don't want to do any other movements until that's activated. So you're like, wait a second, I'm just going to, I'm going to do it wrong, right? I'm going to pull muscles in the wrong direction or throw my shoulders out in the wrong direction. I want to, I want to realign. Such a beautiful gift. Such a beautiful gift. Yeah. And so looking at your previous, we're going to have to, at some point in time, we'll have to do some before and afters of you. Your arches were so flat, it's unreal when I first <laughs> met you. <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> you did. You had pancakes. Oh. 
You had total pancake feet, buddy. Total pancake feet. <laughs> long, thin pancakes. <laughs> Look at the long, thin, long, thin pancakes. How can we take your order? Good. So even here, I know I taught you this the other day, right? Reach those sits bones towards the, yes. As you're pushing through the heels of those feet, there's a nice activation behind the back of the kneecaps and yeah. your tailbone lengthens towards the wall. That's the true depth of stretch here. So you don't really want to be up like this. Yes, you can. You can, but can you still activate through? Can you can you control your spine While there? Up here. Yeah. So now your shoulders are lengthened, right? Your shoulders are anchored. Lengthen your spine from the chest through. There we go. You feel the difference of that? Yeah. Huge transformation in that. Now keep the spine where it is. Activate the backs of the knees a little bit more. Boom! Now we're talking under booty lift activation. I'm a good test subject. I'm a good test subject. <laughs> You're an amazing test subject. <laughs> well, it just helps that I don't have any blockages. Yeah. I don't have any, like, I'm going to do it my way. I don't have any, like, I need to, you know, like, I'm yeah. not comfortable doing that. I'm like, yo, if you can make me feel better on a daily basis, say it's going to hurt for a little bit or be uncomfortable, or feel, I'm gonna feel discomfort, yeah. absolutely give me that. That's why I like psychedelics. Yeah. Give me what I need to heal my body. Yeah, or yeah. my soul. Yeah, all of it. And all, yeah. body, body code method is all of them in one. Oh, so all of them in one. It's so good. <laughs> all right, say peace out, y'all. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>